Hello and welcome back to the Hughes Enterprises channel. I've seen a few videos recently talking about the 1911 Commander and specifically the lightweight Commander in 9mm and how it's becoming one of the more popular carry options in the 1911 and in handguns in general. There's been a huge explosion in the concealed carry market and lots of people are carrying guns and the 1911 of course is one of the most popular. And when people think about the commander size 1911, they typically think of a gun like this, an all-steel gun in 45 caliber. And people typically think that this is the original commander. Well, it actually goes back a little further than this. Uh, back in the 70s, starting 1970, there was the combat commander, an all-steel version, and then this newfangled thing called the lightweight commander. And people typically think that the lightweight commander came after the combat commander was a later development. When in fact, the opposite is true. Starting back in 1950, Colt produced the commander with an aluminum frame. It was only in the 1970s it was produced with a steel frame. The story of the Colt commander begins in 1949. The U.S. Army put out a contract for a gun manufacturer to put together a 9mm pistol it weighed less than 25 ounces with an overall length less than 7 inches. And Colt came up with this gun, and they called it the Commander because the original contract was for the guns to be issued to commanding officers. Now what they put together was so revolutionary that it was completely rejected by the shooting community in the 1950s. So much so that they even had to change the names of some of the components in order to get somewhat accepted. Now in order to meet those strict requirements set by the Army, they had to shave down weight in certain areas. So the internals of the slide are skeletonized to reduce weight. The frame is an aluminum frame, a revolutionary feature in 1950. This was the first aluminum frame pistol produced in the United States, and also the first 9mm pistol produced in the United States. The grips were changed from wood to plastic to shave off an ounce or two. And like I said, most notably, the aluminum frame. Like many government farms contracts, this one didn't go anywhere and the government didn't buy any. And so Colt took this gun to the commercial market where it was met with the least amount of success possible. Uh, gun writers looked at this gun and they saw a gun with a frame made out of beer cans plastic grips, and a caliber used by the Nazis. You know, this was not a good time for the Colt Commander to come out. Post-World War II, people wanted full-size, all-steel, 45 caliber 1911s, and this was just too new for them. So just five years after it was introduced, in 1955, the 9mm Commander was discontinued. Uh, the Commander was also offered in 38 Super and 45 ACP. But because of that Colt alloy aluminum frame, it just was never very successful. And for over 20 years, sales languished until 1970, it was renamed the Lightweight Commander. Even then, it never really took off. But today, 66 years later, the aluminum frame 9mm chambered Colt Commander is one of the nearly perfect semi-automatic carry pistols. And because they were only produced for five years in the early 1950s, these are extremely scarce and valuable guns. So, now's your chance to shoot one. Original magazines for the Colt Commander are very expensive, as you might imagine. They're over $200. This one's back inside. I'm keeping it safe. Don't want to wear it out. But luckily for us, standard 9mm 1911 mags work just fine in this old gun.
I usually don't collect guns like this, but when I found this one and I researched the history of it, it really struck a chord with me. Uh, it's not very often that you find uh, the predecessor to a modern gun totally forgotten. Uh, that's what happened to the original Colt Commander 9mm. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and I want to give a big shout out to my Patreon supporters that helped to make this video possible. Thank you.